I know the magicians in the audience will think that this is a trick magic box. It is not. It's a real magic box with four coins inside. These are half dollars, 50 cent pieces, a little brass box. Neil, do me a favor, jump up here. Jump up here, take a quick look at the box, make sure it's okay. Look okay to you? Great, put the box down. Here, take a quick look at the coins. They seem okay to you? Do they sound right? Sound right. Real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Right. Put them down, thanks a lot. Okay, have a seat, you did beautifully. Thank you. <laughs> you can have the box examined, you can have the coins examined. That's the top of the box. That's the bottom of the box. That's the top of the bottom. That's the bottom of the bottom. And these are the four half dollars. They go in the box. One, two, three, four, four coins. Watch, right here. Because the idea is simple, to take one coin out of the box, put it into my hand, from the box to my hand, number one. Now if I really did that, there should only be three coins left in the box, sure enough, just three. I'll do it again. Three coins, one box. This is the first coin to make the journey. That's one, two, three coins in the little brass box. This is the first one, it came out through the top. I take a second one out the same way. You can't see it get there, but it gets there just the same, and that's two. Which should leave two coins left in the box, sure enough, just two. Two coins, one box. Two coins left, two coins have made the journey. I'll put the coins in slanted, you can see them there the whole time. Watch, from there to there, from there to there, from there to there. <laughs> now you can tell your friends you've seen it done. <laughs> Should leave one coin left in the box, sure enough, just one. At this point you start to work the trick backwards, that's one coin back into the box. Now remember, if I did it with one, I should be able to do it with these three as well. Watch again. Watch the second one. Sure enough, that's two coins in the box. Why not a third coin? Watch the third coin go right through the top of the box, right inside. Sure enough, that's three. Once again, I'll put the coins in slanted. I won't even use the lid. Three coins in the bottom of the box. Watch the last coin disappear. Join the three inside. Making the coin disappear is easy. Getting it under the box, <laughs> that's a little harder. Actually, I snuck it under the lid. You got to expect things like this at a magic lecture. But I will do what I said I would with the three coins and the little brass box. And you know what that means. Make this last coin disappear. Join the three inside. Of course, if I really want to, instead of putting that last one in, I can, if I choose, get the other three out and the box is empty. 